afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your name? My name is Muskan. Where are you from? I'm from Samana. Tell me about your hometown. Uh, it's a small town uh, near a river which is very beautiful. We have a lot of fields all around and people love growing plants there so it is beautiful. Do you like your house? Yes, I love my house. It's a traditional house with beautiful cultural art and uh, my grandparents used to love paintings so we do have uh, traditional paintings in the house what can you see from your windows uh, from my window uh, i can see a beautiful tree in front of my house uh, it's a very old tree where there are beautiful nests and uh, flowers all around do you like your family yes i love my family my family is very uh, uh, patient with me and they are very understanding so I love them. Are there any trees near where you live? Yes, there's a beautiful garden near my house. There are a lot of trees. There's a variety of them and uh, we all love trees so we do visit the garden as well. How can trees help us? Um, trees help us in various ways. Uh, I think the flowers really fascinate us. They provide us fruits as well. And the major thing is oxygen. If there are trees all around, we get fresh air. Let's talk about happiness. What makes you happy? I think being around family and friends is the thing that makes me most happy. What did you recently do to make someone else happy? Uh, recently I visited a friend and I bought flowers for him. I think uh, that gesture made him really very happy. I even uh, took a box of sweets for his family and they all were really very happy. Do you think it is possible to be always happy? Uh, sometimes it is quite hard due to the frustrating schedules but I think we should stay happy all the time. Okay, let's talk about environment. Do you support environment protection? I really do support environment protection. Uh, I love go, uh, visiting some gardens with my friends and family to plant trees because I think saving the environment is the foremost thing that we should do for the sustainable growth. How do you help to protect the environment? Uh, as I've mentioned, I go to gardens and I do uh, attend some fest, some flower fest or some gardening fest uh, that can help in growing more and more trees. Do you believe your efforts make a difference? I think a small effort can make a huge difference. So I think uh, even if it is a very small thing to do from my side, but I do try to do much things. Okay, let's talk about relaxation. Do you find it easy to relax? Uh, sometimes it's hard to relax because we're always busy in doing something or the other. But uh, we should take some time from our routines to relax ourselves, even by meditation or whatever you feel like. How do you usually relax? I usually relax by spending some time with my own, uh, listening to some soft music and chilling with myself. Do you think holidays are a good way to relax? I think uh, in today's world, holidays are the only best ways to relax because we don't get time in routine, so in holidays we can spend quality of time with our family and friends and we can relax. Alright, in this part 2, I will give you your 2 minute topic. You will have 1 minute to prepare on that topic and you have to speak for 1 to 2 minutes. Here is your 2 minute topic. This is your paper and pencil. Last year I was planning a tour with my friends and we were really arguing on where to go. Uh, there were two options for, with us. If uh, we could go to the hilly area or we could go to Rajasthan for some cultural and traditional exploration. So that was a really intense argument which occurred after we made a list. So what happened was we made a list on some things that we could enjoy and we could miss. So there were 50-50 chances that we could go to the places. 
so we actually argued very badly so in in this uh, for the solution we approached our parents so they helped us they counseled us about various things that we could enjoy and we even took help from the online uh, we again made a list so that we can help with ourselves and we could uh, get some solution from that argument i really appreciate my friends efforts because they were really helpful and they were very very adjusting in understanding each other so the argument ended up and we decided to go to rajasthan because i think hilly areas are really common to visit but exploring the culture and tradition of the country is really a good experience so it was a very relieving thing for us that we sorted out and we really enjoyed that part as well i think it is the most memorable and entertaining thing to remember remember that argument we do laugh on it and now we always promise ourselves not to argue and to get solutions in much peace of mind can i have paper pencil back All right in this part 3 i will ask you few questions related to this topic what was your opinion about this argument i think arguments are also part of our life they teach us many things for example our arguments taught us that we should not uh, fight with each other and we should get to the solutions uh, you by using any source uh, for example the internet or our family so it was it taught us not to fight and always stay together did it change later your opinion about this argument yes it did change because when we got to the solution we all were really very happy and we as i uh, mentioned that we promised ourselves that we won't fight again so i think it it made our bond much stronger do you think arguments are helpful yes arguments are helpful because everyone Uh, get to uh, present their own opinion and we do get much understanding because we can hear to each other and then get the solution why do arguments between family members arise usually uh, the arguments arise due to the financial problems in the family or even due to the generation gap i think the younger generation wants much freedom but the parents are less uh, restrictive so these are the reasons th that arise the arguments within the family can such arguments change how they feel about each other yes definitely i think they can make a huge difference because when you go to hear the other ones like uh, other ones opinion about a thing you do understand how they feel and how you should react upon these so they make understanding much better All right this is the end of your speaking test thank you thank you okay we are done with your speaking test now, now i would like to give you your feedback you are very good you can easily score 7.5 or 8 band in real exam keep it up good luck thank you